How do you see that there. eye? Sorry, he literally just like peeked through a building to see an eye. Eagle sense, man. <laughs> Eagle sense, jeez. Can't be seen though. Oh yeah. Wonder if this will be easy. Well, I should save. Should save before things get <laughs> go wrong. He wrote Frankenstein comics. Mm-hmm. I don't know if he wrote Am I Ultimate, wrong? by the way. Oh no, he did. Or at least it looks I thought, like he did. I th I think he Writ helped. Written with it? Oh no, sorry. Written he by Christopher Golden and Mike Manola. Art by Ben push. Steinbeck. Yeah. Yeah. So it's two writers, Christopher Golden and Mike Manola. Yeah. Yeah. Also, am I wrong in thinking that Abe Sapien is like the most boring character in Hellboy? Oh. Must be some eye to have that much protection. I For some reason, I just have no interest in Fishboy. That's fine. Yeah. I also don't have an interest. You know, I thought it was a series called Joe Golem, a cult objective. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, this guy has a lot of weird stuff. Yeah, he does. I wonder if he's okay in the head. I think he is. He's probably. I don't know if rich is the right word, but. He's as rich as comic person. writers can be. Yeah. Say now. Poor. <laughs> Sledgehammer 4040. That's not one of the series. Yeah. Why can't I open up these doors? A man in an iron suit drops into the French battlefield and kills a bunch of people. <laughs> so it's Great. World War II Iron Man, essentially, is what Hammer 4040 is. I think so. I think I've heard of that. I think I might have ha gotten the first issue, actually. The Visitor. Yeah. Wedge Finder. He's also written way more, like, mainstream stories than I realized. Yeah. Like, he's actually pretty prolific, I guess. Yeah, the Silver Surfer, Rocket Raccoon, Hercules vs. Thor. Mm-hmm. Quasar. Power Pack. Hulk. Action Comics, Batman, Blue Beetle. Mm. Yeah, those are old though. Yeah, Captain America. Uh, his Captain America series seems to have been to have been written before I was born. Yeah. Yeah. All right. To be fair, I'm pretty sure Hellboy was written before I was born. I th yeah, Hellboy is old. It's only recently that it even like finished. And it's finished. <laughs> Heavy air quotes. Yeah. Ooh. I actually own the uh, giant omnibus for uh, the first volume of Hellboy Comics.
do you? <laughs> like the library edition? I don't know if it's the library, it's just like the really large, like big, it's a very oversized book with oversized pages and the art in it, it's amazing. That sounds great. I think it is, the, it sounds like it is the library edition. Might be. How okay. do I do this? Okay, Comicology, I don't want the digital release date, I want the actual release date. <laughs> They just found my dead body. They found the dead body of their leader. Hellboy was, was first appeared in 1993. Two years before I was born. That's a, that's a long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very excited for a new movie coming out. I am too. I guess it's gonna be more, uh, more like, m less of a superhero movie like the old one was, and more of like an actual kind of horror movie like the comics. Like it takes place in a weird castle and everything. That's exciting. And it barely released any of the characters. Oh my god. Hold on, I'm, I'm in the middle of the attack. I gotta escape. My bounty hunter is nearby. Really? Oh, okay. I'm stealthy again. So stealthy. Ugh. So stealthy, I'm in a bush. What's the... What's the guy's name who plays in Arrested Development? He's like the bald, funny guy. Oh, 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 oh. Uh... He played Train in Kung Fu Panda. David Cross. Mike Manila looks like a fatter David Cross. I know where the archer is. Oh. Oh, he's like, where did they go? Just as I assassinated him. I think I'm getting the hang of this. That's another thing I don't like about the new Assassin's Creed is they changed the combat. Yeah, I'm okay with that. The new, the old combat was always really hard for me. It was so easy, man. I don't know what to tell you, man. I had difficulty with it. I could have, like, body people. Sent you two pictures, but you can't even tell who's who. <laughs> if you're sending me a picture of what Mike Mignola looks like, Mike Mignola and David Cross, because they look the same. Yeah. Uh huh. 
I got the obsidian eye. Now I'm just looting everything here. Give me a second to look at the pictures. I gotta. Okay. Gotta finish up this part and then escape. Oh, I'm on fire. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Stop, drop, and roll. Murdering everyone now. Seems no like a good idea. Yeah, I think I've murdered everyone I could. There's just a dog. You gotta kill really a dog. Him. No, I said no. You it monster! Looks like it's just a dog and like a slave. I'm not killing the dog. I said that's all that's left. You're killing that's not a even slave? A Wait. <laughs> oh my god, that is a that is a lion. The dog was a lion the whole time. And now I'm running. You coward. Oh, I, let, I let loose the lion. Now when he comes back, he's going to have to deal with the mountain lion. And a dog. Was that a tiger? No, that's a lion. And a dog. Nope, no dog. It was a mountain lion. <laughs> oh, but the... The servant is like running away. Servant now, huh? Yeah, uh -huh. servant, not not slave. Why? Well, I'm not touching him. I'm not gonna do anything to him. Don't know why you're getting all tiffy. Cause you're a horrible person. Beating uh, up slaves again. and dogs. Again, do should you be the one saying this to me? What do you mean? I'm a good guy. You know exactly what I mean. I have done nothing wrong ever. Uh-huh. I am more innocent than Judge you Kavanaugh. You can't even finish your... <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> it took you longer to think of that than I expected. <laughs> what do you mean? You know what I mean. It took you longer than I expected. I thought that was pretty quick. That, that was that was less of a delay than it usually takes for me to come up with a joke. Uh huh. I think you're just mad that I came up with Judge Kavanaugh. No. <laughs> I think it's just funny. <laughs> Gods, what's happened here? Wow, I'm in a city, a little town that's Called been Bethlehem. infected by that's been inflicted by a plague. I guess. Huh. Yeah. Oh, uh, just so you know, there is a new Hellboy Christmas special coming out this year. This must be destroyed by our hands. Are you serious? We have no choice. Yeah, so I don't know no, that's something that you're interested in getting, but let just letting you know now so you can get it when it comes out. What's if you going want on? To. Maybe. Kausos was consumed by plague. I think it's been a while since like there's been a special or anything like that. Yeah. 
we had to intervene. They killed our brothers, our neighbors. I think it we comes out like December brother. like 13th or know. something, I believe. The gods have abandoned us. Say one more time. December 13th or something. Save the living. That's when the Christmas special comes out? Yeah, like Cowboy the Comet Christmas special. Huh. Weird. I need to double check that. Whole village? Many nights Hold on, right now my character is very angry that a priest action. burned down a whole village. To scorch the blood fever out of Gaussos. I mean... Is sounds like a priest shouldn't be care? doing that. Nothing uh -huh. has worked. Sacrifice. Prayers. Healers won't come near us. Soldiers won't <laughs> the gods yeah, they've had a Hellboy friends. versus Cram Krampus special. But uh, oh, that would be great. About the plague. That would be great to see. There is nothing you can do. Okay, Hellboy no. ver if you Hellboy Winter Special 2018. I will to defend the gods' wills. December 12th Save is when it comes him. out. Have pity. We aren't even that sick. We'll get better. Nobody gets better. Uh, there is four it's different writers on the book, all of and four different artists. That's awesome. Is so one of them Brom? We have children. Brom? Think of them. For who? Yeah. The art or the, the Krampus? Here, Either or. Uh, it's not the Krampus one. This is the Krampus one. I guess was like two years ago or something. Oh, okay. Let this one go. is Gabriel Ba, Mike Manola. What? Fabio no Moon and Tonic Z Zonic? Zonic? I don't know how to say it. Ben Steinbeck, Fabio Moon, Gabriel Ba, and the other guy are all writing too. So yeah. That would be interesting. I gotta get that. I'm excited about it. It seems that like a lot exciting. right. That's a lot of writers and uh, art too, so it's probably gonna be a pretty big book for four for four dollars. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because it's only four dollars, so it has to be a pretty large special. Oh man, my bounty hunter finally caught up. The Adventure Zone comic, the second one, comes out soon. Does it really? Yeah, oh, well, I don't know if it comes out soon, but I know they've already started making it, and like, art's almost already finished and all that other stuff. That's awesome. Yeah. I actually liked the first one. I actually have it, yeah. I haven't finished reading it because I pretty much know what's gonna happen, but... Yeah. The art's cool. It is. But yeah, so, the murder on the Rock Park Express is no, next. And after that one, pedals to the metal. And then after that one, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel That's like the really peak annoying. of that okay. podcast so the, the I feel that the peak for me was Rockport. I mean, to yeah, be honest, I really, I really enjoyed everything. Yeah, but my favorite part like, was pedals to the metal. Yeah. Pedals to the metal is great. And it's just because I really like... Uh, Wacky races. Yeah. Did you listen to the latest live? Oh well, you haven't. But the latest live one, or one of the latest live ones, was going back to that place. Oh, cool. Actually, I think I might have listened to that one because I think that was right before I stopped like listening, like right before I needed my Travis brick. My Travis break was recent. Yeah. Ho ho. Okay, there's no way that guy's not dead. Jeez. Tomorrow my DLC comes out. So happy. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. For Spider Man? What's the DLC for Spider Man? Uh the first one's called The Heist and it involves Black Cat. Okay. 
I don't have any idea what the rest of them will all be, but I know that, uh... I, I'm, I don't know, but I am expecting at some point to have to deal with the Green Goblin. I would hope so. <laughs> You're a hero. That priest came from right. the underworld. Some man of the gods. <laughs> the real gods sent me. Oh, did you see uh, my the family? The... Time to go. Oh, not yet. We're well enough I'm still. But need Hold healing. Up. Before you go, take my drachmi. It can't pay for what you gave us, but it's all we have. Oh my God, you're right. I really can't tell the difference. Right? Who's who? Or at least it's... I I'm going to say the first picture, the, the comic... The Comic-Con one is Mike Mignola. Yes. And then... You can kind of see the difference. I feel as if you got some... Hard pictures. Forget about that. Are you, are you suggesting... That I made the joke, realized it wasn't totally true, and then purposely scoured the internet to pay for pictures that back my claim? Yes. How dare you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> was I was I right? <laughs> yes. Just a little bit. <laughs> well, I, I lucked out. They both have really, like, generous beards. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. Wow, so th this AI system for the bounty hunters... I... It's kind of like Alien from Alien Isolation, where the killers, uh, the bounty hunters... So in Alien Isolation, the alien had a, two AIs, one that always knew where you were, and the other one that did not. The one that knew where you were would give like hot, cold information to the alien. And the and the uh, other one just kind of tracked. That's the other one is the one that you would see that you could trick and you could like walk around and hide from. But the other AI knew exactly where you were at any given time. That seems unfair. Well, I mean, it worked. Yeah. For the alien. Horror game. And I right? think. Yeah, and I think they did the same thing here. In this, in an Odyssey. Because uh, the bounty hunter just shows up wherever you are, and if you move, it's like he eventually like goes in that direction too, which I don't think is quite fair. I'd rather have him wandering around. It doesn't add anything. It doesn't add anything. It just takes away from the experience. Welcome to Ubisoft. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they are learning, and they are getting better. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because, like, the last couple of games haven't been a new game every year. They're still updating yeah. Siege, and Siege is, like, what, three years old now? Yeah. Almost four. And, and, and Steep, is Steep even still around? Yeah, Steep's still around, surprisingly. Yeah. And For Honor is still around. They just added four new characters to that. Mm-hmm, and a whole new faction is coming along the way. Mm-hmm. I think they're already out. Yeah. Oh, I think you're right, yeah. A Shaolin monk that it looks nothing like a Shaolin monk and a couple other characters. Shit. What just happened? Take care of that. Yeah. 
You know that Scott Ackerman writes comics? Who? You know Comedy Bang Bang? No. Okay, um... I don't know what else he's been in. He's written... He's written a few Simpsons episodes. But anyway, he's like a... He's a, also like a really big podcast guy. And apparently Is he, he really? writes like a lot of comics, yeah. Huh. He's writing um, the X-Men Black series. And he wrote X-Men Mojo, which just came out like a while ago. Can't see them. It's kind of interesting. What the hell is Black Hammer? Black Hammer? I'm not entirely sure. Some Dark Horse stuff. So you know it's weird. Yeah. At what point did all of Dark Horse start to title their things and like make their covers look as Hellboy as possible? At what point because did that they happen? Because they realized Hellboy was their biggest title. So they make everything look close to it? <laughs> yeah. I guess that makes sense. I be careful. You know how many of his guards were there? Sherlock, Frankenstein, and the Legion what did I of say Evil. About being seen? <laughs> At least you taught them a lesson. <laughs> Great. A fucking rock. This rock could buy a house, my friend. And yet, but you can't guess who made the these. <laughs> oh, don't be upset. Think of all the fun we've had. Freaking dark horse and your dark horsiness. <laughs> right. Your fun, my blood. You can't keep dragging me into things, Marcos. This will work. I promise you. Would I lie to you? Don't make me answer. Would I lie to you? Yeah. <laughs> but don't sell it yet. No vendor would believe we came by it lawfully. They know exactly who it belongs to. Fine. Better your pocket than his socket. I think that's enough for one day. Here There's a works. lot of There are a lot of eye oh, puns going on I right now. Bot, one I've never seen before. <laughs> So the it's like better your pocket than his become. socket. It must be the Cyclops, <laughs> and he brought friends. His oh, goodness. Ugh. I can never catch a break, can I? <laughs> Take them out, and that's one less thing to deal with. Besides, these okay, well, at again. Resource. Oh yes, yes, the Cyclops <laughs> pays them well. It's win -win, I lost it. I got back to. Uh huh. It can't hurt. Also, there's a Jason Aaron sale for you? Thor comics right You're now. You're a winner if I ever saw one. Then where You're are you? You're a winner if I ever in saw one. In an abandoned one. house on the That's eastern coast. Said. Who knows what golden fortunes shine in their hideout? Send them to Hades, then loot them for all they have. Okay. We'll uh, be rich. Sandman. Mr. Sandman. The eastern coast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you be more specific? I think they've settled in an abandoned house. By a small forest south of Sami. That song still totally bops, by the way. So, if these visitors mm -hmm. aren't from Kefalonia, where did they come from? <laughs> All I know is Kefalonia. It was on the, the radio the other day when I was driving see. around with my cousin. Oh, really? Yeah. We turned it up Mr. as loud as possible. Keeping some of these golden forests. Excellent. Though. No negotiations. Well, it's one of those Not moments where I have never felt the man who sent you? The rest goes to pay your debt. <laughs> these are my terms. Oh, fine, fine. Why now, is this librarian a gnome? What it means to be and why is there a jack-o'-lantern behind blood them? Or bleed? I don't know. And why do I want to read this comic immediately? <laughs> <laughs> I'm immediately into it because of the jack-o'-lantern guy. Because he seems like the coolest person in the world. <laughs>